Hello my fellow flipped foundations. I'm Mr. Church and today we're not building small hole, we're building near uh, this, which is uh, based on the Georgia Guidestones, even though we're not in Georgia and they don't guide any you anywhere. Now I'm gonna leave a link for more information on this in the description, but it's actually um, based on something in real life that's kind of cool and people theorize that it has instructions for how to rebuild civilization after the, after the apocalypse or something, I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna start by putting down these foundation pieces and we wanna line it up so that when we uh, bring them over to here, that bottom of that lip right there will line up with the top of these arm pieces, if you want to call them that, which I do, and so I did. Um, and that way, that's just how we're gonna make sure these foundations are the exact uh, orientation height that we want them and we want this one back here to be the one that we're moving so you're gonna delete back to that one move it until it lines up that way it's gonna take a little bit of tinkering and I'm not gonna make you watch me do that so you're welcome now what we're gonna do is we want to get underneath the map because to build around these guide stones I want to have like a f technically floating camp and I don't want anyone to see that it's floating so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some stairs we're gonna go down under the map and then build back up so first I'm kind of uh, walking these over to the side so we have room to work with um, and that way we're keeping them in the same orientation and th then I'm gonna take some carpets like this and I'm going to take the old uh, symptomatic and what we're gonna do is we're gonna sink this down uh, using the, our handy dandy pressure plate merge trick. So grab the bottom most carpet, which will be the round one, and put it on that depressed pressure plate. If you move the pressure plate slightly, it'll become more depressed than you are when you hear that Bethesda has sneakily updated yet more stuff and fixed more things that weren't broken, but didn't fix, you know, the stuff like not being able to fast travel or use vats or anything like that. We don't need that stuff. It's um, bonus content, so stop bitching. And uh, I'm just gonna sink this down a lot, and then we're gonna uh, grab this, and we can just place it into the ground. Now, when we use the symptomatic, of course, it'll put us underneath the map, which is a beautiful place to be. We don't have to look at anyone else or ourselves, and you know, think introspectively about the decisions we've made to play this game. Now, grab some floor pieces and start snapping them around down here. And uh, that's just so we can walk. You don't need these. It's just for our own convenience while we do things. But what we're going to do is hoping to God that this rock here is something we can build through because otherwise it's directly in the way of my plan. We're going to build stairs up towards the guide stones and we're going to line them up with that foundation we have up there. So that's how we know where to put the stairs. And we're going to go up and then we're going to go... Um, gonna measure so make sure that peaks up just two stairs now we're gonna go over by um, I accidentally put a full catwalk here but we actually want to go over by a half a catwalk um, so delete that oh, oh god I almost fell but I have a jetpack because I'm wise and I decided not to cripple myself or hamper my success so do a half catwalk that's very important for the plan now when we come up here we will have this and it'll be exactly half a floor and that'll fit in beautifully. But first, let's delete this catwalk. And now we have these stairs and they're free floating. You can still do this, don't worry. Uh, they did ruin most of our fun, but this you can still do um, currently. Now, come down here, delete all this shit so that you don't have to think about it being underneath you, which is kind of invas uh, invasive and make, might make you feel creepy. Uh, if you already feel creepy in general, then you don't have to worry about that. Just leave it down there. I'm leaving the stairs and the symptomatic in case I fuck up and I need to come back down here and delete everything and start over. Because uh, bear in mind that you need to be very careful about when you place anything. Now, the upper floors, stairs, anything you attach to these will be stuck like that forever because it'll lock into place as they have no legitimate foundation attached to them. So the game thinks they're floating and that deleting something from them would cause them to be floating and so it won't let you delete anything. So if you fuck up and you found that you've put something down, uh, go back underground, snap down to a 
upper floor, then just delete backwards till you get back underneath the map and then start over. But you want a floor plan that is set up like this. And um, before I switch the staircase, I'm gonna start putting up walls just like you do when you first meet someone and you start sensing that people wanna be friends with you. Uh, and then that we can kind of figure out the layout of the building. And uh, let's just uh, throw some walls down over here as well. And uh, this is backwards, so fix that. And God damn it, that one is as well. Now, I initially am going to use some, let me think here, uh, how about some log walls? Because they're same front to back. Um, but of course, someone's probably going to come by later and start insulting my work, and then I'll have to adjust it, because I mostly live to appease other people, and I have no sense of uh, value in my own choices. So I have to kind of adjust them based on the feedback of people that I didn't ask for their opinion. Now, I'm going to grab some roofs and uh, put them up here uh, once I drag them in. Now, if you, uh, in this very small space, you will have to do this a lot. Hold down on your action button and pull forwards um, with your joystick or, you know, of course, with the, uh, the uh, on PC you can just scroll. Uh, but just pull that forward to get that stupid piece to come forwards towards you so you don't have to try to fit something in by backing up in a space where you physically can't. Um, that was a very long explanation that you didn't need. Um, hope it helped you. Uh, for these roof pieces, I'm just going to pull over the offset wall temporarily, like that, to put this arch up there, and then I'm putting it right back. Um, please, thank you. Um, and now we have mostly this done. Let's just uh, put a roof in the middle, um, and I'll probably change, you know, what kind of roof this is, since I can't decide on anything in life and I always change my mind but that is basically the whole structure it's very uh, small simple I'm gonna put some hedges for the back uh, patio things um, and I'm gonna have to move it now if you're trying to adjust something slightly it'll just pop it right back to where it was uh, because it hates you so just um, move it violently in one direction then try again and then you will have to put the hedges in before the walls because this build order matters greatly to the game's integrity. And, um, by the way, um, I want to interrupt this beautiful rant by saying thank you, Bethesda, for more updates that ruin the game. Um, please consider fixing the fast travel bug, uh, the trade bug, uh... I'm, I don't have time to list them in this video. Now, this is the basic uh, overview now. If you look from the jetpack time when I fly around without AP because I'm not on a team right now. Uh, and now we have to pick a door. And so we have to make the stairs thin again because the doors won't fit. And then grab a door that reflects the vibes that we want for this house. Which are a little creepy and maybe just a little bit um, eccentric. Uh, but I'm also just gonna, I think the blue one, and then no, I go back to the black one, uh, the CD shed or whatever, I don't know. And then I change my mind again, and then I, I don't know, but eventually we just land on that. Now over here, we do need power, so I'm going to uh, put that down for about five minutes and then fall off and not put it down. And then I'm gonna take the flamer, and I'm gonna put it on the roof, and I'm gonna burn the fuck out of this roof. And once you trigger it, kind of like uh, you're triggering people by saying fuck in a, uh, you know, a video based on a game that has a maturity rating, so it's for adults, then you're going to put a uh, flat roof down here, and you'll be able to place a generator on top of that. And this will power the entire building, except it won't, so maybe put down two. Um, I just put down one here, and I think I came back and put down a second one later because I ran out of power. Um, so I just put down two. To just save yourself the time and energy. And then just fix those. Get rid of the flamer. Over here, um, I wanted to put, like, a little bit of a wall that... I wanted some shelves, okay? So I grabbed these. I have them blueprinted already, but shittily. Um, see how they're all crooked and shit? Um, this is shoddy craftsmanship, so I did put- I have footage of me putting these in, but I eventually went back and replaced them. 
because also uh, people were judging that as well. And what I learned while I was building this is to never invite my friends over while I was in the middle of building them and especially don't let them speak. Now, I usually don't anyway, so uh, that was more my, on my, you know, my bad for giving them the option of human uh, tongue and uh, human voice. So anyway, I wish that I hadn't said the word tongue because now it just feels weird around here, but I'm gonna kind of jiggle these back and forth even though if I could have looked in the future, I would have seen that, that it was futile because I was gonna redo that anyway with a better blueprint that was straight. But then we have like a full wall of shelves, which I'm not gonna fill with stuff even though I could, but I just don't fucking want to. Now, I'm gonna make a little um, AC unit. So to do that, I'm going to um, take these conduit things and uh, I wanna have them like that, you know, coming down the side. So we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside the building and uh, I'm gonna grab some smaller bits. Let's see, this one will be good. And again, I keep having to pull stuff down. I think they, when they updated whatever they did, um, everything in the build menu seems to be way further out than it used to be. And I feel like I keep having to pull stuff in a lot more than I used to. So if you're experiencing that, just um, hold down your action button and pull forward and that shit will come towards you. But it's really annoying. Just temporarily get rid of this wall here. Um, and then you should be able to snap directly to those ones we put on the ground and then get rid of these ones and then you're gonna have to burn that to uh, get the wall back in. So just find your flamer in your pile of stored stuff, you know, because you have 77% of your budget is just stored stuff. One of the nice things about this build is even though it's very uh, compact and complete, it looks like a full house, when you're done with it, it should mostly, you should have a very large amount of budget left if you want to add another building nearby um, or if you want to add something underground or if you want to maybe not build anything because you hate building in this game because every time you try to the tools you use get patched out of it uh, so burn that and you'll be able to put a wall back in and then a wallpaper now uh, once you repair these you'll see we've got this nice little AC unit on the side there, add some detail and texture to the build. Now, while I uh, make this uh, kitchen, which you probably don't need to see, I just want to add that if you're wondering um, and you missed it somehow, uh, in the last few days, Bethesda made a hot patch sneakily to patch out a dupe method. Uh, and in the process, they destroyed some uh, things that are used in a lot of these tutorials on my channel. A lot of builders use them all the time and these are the foundation flip method and also the stacked poles which you can free place um, because you know how you want to put like supports for stuff so it's not looking floating and shit like that or build in uncomfortable places um so they destroyed it and there was outrage in the community and rightly so and enough of you guys spoke out about it that they finally acknowledged that they know they fucked up but they don't have a fix for it so while we wait for them to fix their fucking mistakes um, and hope to God that they actually do, um, just I want to give a shout out to those of you who actually, you know, went and told Bethesda, uh, you know, this is fucked up and you need to fix it because this, you can't just fuck over the only people that are still playing your game. But uh, anyway, I'll keep you updated on if that gets fixed or not obviously it will be back in the channel i'll be using it again if it's fixed otherwise we'll have to figure something else out like playing a different game just kidding maybe not now we're done with uh the build so let's take a quick look at it um i've always wanted to build here but i never was sure what i wanted to put here so i finally settled on something that incorporated the guide stones as a support structure but like you know it's it kind of matches the kooky and uh, weird and eccentric vibes of the place without obscuring the guide stones completely. Um, so I felt like it was a really fun build. I enjoyed it a lot. And it's fun sometimes building cleaner buildings and the guide stones kind of gave me an excuse to because it helps incorporate it into the surroundings a bit. I put this up here for a vent for the stove. And I'm using two safes there for the counter. And there's a duck there for Ember uh, because she loves ducks very much. And I have no idea why. Um, 
yeah, but like this build I had a lot of fucking fun making. Um, if you're wondering, there are no crafting benches here. Uh, they're in my shelter. Um, I don't usually do that, and I probably won't do that very often in the future, but in this case, I just didn't want to fuck with it. I think one thing Bethesda needs to do besides fix their fucking shit and put their... Uh, anyway, um, that wasn't going to be family friendly, uh, is make some skins for the crafting benches that are clean and fit the rest of their sim energy that they're bringing towards the atom shop constantly, like this clean-ass toilet and these clean washer and dryers and this clean shower. Uh, we don't have a clean bathtub who needs it, um, but you know what I mean? Uh, there's no, like, clean crafting benches, so if we want to incorporate a workable building, we have to kind of make a separate area for them, and that's a big fuck-up. Anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you. A big shout out to my patrons. You guys are awesome. Thank you for your support. If you guys are not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. And I will see you all in the next video. And my eyes are burning. I think I have something in my eye. I have to go wash this out. Um, I'll see you in the next, or you'll see me in the next video.